Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to program uh, your Astro 25 Motorola XTS series radio uh, for uh, conventional personalities and conventional programming uh, using Motorola's uh, Astro 25 programming software. Uh, I would assume that you guys are somewhat familiar how to use the software. It's not too difficult to use, so I'm going to walk you through it uh, so you guys become comfortable. Uh, we'll just go ahead here and jump right into it. Um, so we'll come up here to the uh, to the tree branch of your radio. Uh, we're going to open up uh, conventional for the conventional personalities, and we're going to hit uh, conventional personality number one. Uh, so when you read your radio, you get a fresh uh, a fresh code plug looking like this. You're going to at least have one personality in here. Uh, so we'll click on it. We'll see what we got. Um, this one should be pretty much good to go. Uh, we're going to be doing the uh, non-astro so just conventional analog uh, voice uh, for our first uh, for our first example um, so our first tap here brings us right to the receive options if you want to do this as a receive only personality you can check this here um, I believe it changes a few things um, otherwise we're going to assume that you're going to be doing a, uh, a transmitting and receiving personality uh, so we'll go ahead and continue with the video. Um, the, re the receive voice here is going to be non-astro, so just analog. Um, after this example, we're, we'll be going to astro voice for digital, uh, and we'll show you how to do that. Uh, for the squelch, receive emphasis, busy LED, here clear. Uh, we'll leave those alone. There's a lot of these tabs in here we're not going to be touching, um, so I'll show you which ones those are. Uh, we're just going to try and get you know get through this as quickly and easily as possible. Um, so we'll go to transmit options. Um, we're going to leave the high power. I always recommend leaving on high power for your transmissions. Um, everything here we'll leave, we'll leave uh, untouched. It's, sh it's always going to default to your uh, receiving voice for your transmitting voice, non-astro. Uh, so we'll leave that the way it is. Um, if you want to do any uh, tone outs, if you're a fire if you're a fire department and you have uh, your quick call tones, you can select this and you can program those. Um, that's something we're not going to touch on today, so we're going to leave this alone. Uh, there's no MDC, there's no secure, um, that we're going to be using uh, RAC and phone are things we're going to be skipping. Uh, smart, smart push to talk we're going to skip. Um, if you have a scan list, um, you can put which uh, scan list you want to scan when you hit the scan button uh, when you're in this personality. Uh, we'll just leave it on uh, number one here just so we have something. You can always set it to none, but I always like to have a scan list enabled uh, you know, just in case it doesn't hurt to have one. Uh, we don't have anything here in advanced. Uh, this is a non-astral personality, so we don't need anything in these astro uh, tabs. Uh, quick call, we're not going to do, and we don't have anything for DTMF. So that's pretty much it for the personality. Um, now we can jump right into the zone channel assignment way here at the bottom, and we'll get programming your frequency. So uh, one thing that's important pro about programming the frequency is uh, knowing which uh, is uh, which is a transmit frequency and what is the receive frequency. Um, a lot of people may not know, um, but you don't just transmit on you know, 174 and receive, uh, you know, or transmit on 136.025 and receive on that same frequency. You may, you may not. It all depends on the frequency um, and how repeater access is set up, if there is a repeater in place. Um, typically for uh, VHF high, uh, there is no set uh, repeater uh, access offset um, you know we it, it, there's no uh, necessarily there's not necessarily a, uh, a, f a specific frequency that it has to be uh, an example of this would be if you're in 800 megahertz if you're going to be uh, transmitting on 800 megahertz to hit a repeater so everybody else can hear you um, you're gonna have to go uh, 800 megahertz plus 45 megahertz so you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be uh, transmitting on 800 megahertz uh, but then you're going to be receiving on 845 megahertz. I may have that mixed up, uh, but that's pretty much how it's going to work. So there's two different frequencies. Um, so in in this case, for VHF high, what you're dealing with, it may or you know they may there may or may not be an offset. Um, usually there isn't an offset, so we'll go ahead and, and uh, we'll go down that route. But for the record, what we're going to do is we're going to look at radio reference here. I'll pull over our radio reference page. All right, and uh, let me make this smaller. And what we'll go ahead and do is we'll look here at 
uh, we'll look here at uh, Bovina Highway Department. So obviously be, be sure that you're authorized to transmit on the frequency that you're uh, going to program. I'm just going to use this here as an example uh, just so you guys know what to look for. Uh, so obviously you have the frequency here which is 151.0625 megahertz. That's going to be the uh, the transmit frequency and uh, since it's VHF high it's in that frequency range we're also going to go ahead and assume that that's the receive frequency that that's the repeater access. It says here for type that this is a repeater and a mobile so there is a repeater in use here and we also have a tone. Uh, it's going to be PL203.5 so we're going to remember that and we're going to program that right now. Alright so let's go back here to our CPS so the receive frequency if you remember is 151 decimal 0625 so we're going to go 151 decimal 0625 alright so we got that and the tone is 203.5 so we'll go in here we'll find the 203.5 we'll select that alright and we're going to do the same thing for the transmit frequency we're going to assume that the repeater access uh, to uh, be able to hit the repeater is going to be the same as the receive frequency so we're going to go 151 decimal 0625. We're going to hit enter and we'll go here to the transmit PL and we'll make sure it's the same thing 203.5. Alright, so that's uh, it's pretty spot on. Now, if you scroll over here a little bit more, we'll notice that we have a red uh, here for transmit op, uh, transmit deviation uh, for the spacing. Uh, let's see what it's asking for here. So it looks like 2.5 kilohertz isn't what it wants. We'll go to 5. That's pretty, that's fine. I think it's just based on the frequency we chose, so we'll go to 5 kilohertz. Um, we'll leave this alone. I'll go to look a little bit more down here. Everything else looks good. Um, if it's going to be a talk around uh, frequency, this you can check this and it'll basically transmit and receive on the same frequency uh, without going through the repeater. Um, it's not going to be, looks like we're not going to be dealing with that here because um, they're the same frequency um, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll uh, call this scenario here complete so now uh, what you could do is you can write to your radio and uh, you can test it out um, you can test if you hit the repeater um, if you transmit and you can transmit for a second and let go uh, if you hear uh, some squelch or some static right after that for about a split second that means you hit a repeater um, if you don't that means you did not hit a repeater um, so this is how you trans. This is how you uh, program a conventional personality for analog uh, purposes. So we'll go ahead and close out of that, and uh, we'll show you guys now how to do it for a uh, digital uh, conventional uh, personality. Uh, to do that, you have to create another personality. We can't use the same one. Uh, so down here where it says one of one, we'll hit the plus. Now we got a two of two. All right. Uh, so now we'll do for this case, we'll do the receive voice as Astro. All right and with transmit will also be astro we won't do anything with signaling or MDC um, here is where you could do something with secure um, if you see the other video I've created today on ADP encryption um, that is something that we could use here uh, for uh, secure communications um, that's something we're not going to include in this video right now but if you wanted to you hit secure uh, and then in secure too you can uh, you can select a different key uh, the different keys that you can strap to the personality, but we're not going to go ahead and do that right now. We'll just leave it on uh, clear. All right, we don't need secure to repeater access. We don't need uh, no phone, no push to talk. We'll leave this back on scan one. Nothing in advance we need. Uh, for Astro, we're going to leave on Astro system one. Uh, digital modulator, modulator type, we'll leave for C4 FM, uh, and we'll leave the normal squelch here. Astro call, uh, we'll leave that alone. Uh, we don't need anything for talk group. Uh, we don't have any quick call or we don't have any DTMF. So we're going to leave that the way it is. Um, the Astro system it's referring to um, is the uh, configuration here uh, just for the digital uh, uh, voice. Um, if you hit the emergency button it'll it'll transmit some different things. It'll refer you to different zones. We're not going to program that. Um, just some other things for uh, you know, other advanced radio stuff that we're really not going to use. Um, other IP address stuff. This is pretty advanced stuff. Not a lot of people use these. Um, some people may. Uh, this is your radio ID. So when you key up, this is the ID that shows on your radio uh, in the uh, dispatch center and to other uh, uh, portable and mobile radios out there. So you can you can change that if you need to. Um, this is something that usually 
the uh, Astro, the digital voice, is going to be something a lot of PD, a lot of uh, police departments are going to use, uh, just because it's uh, it's something that you can use secure transmissions on for encryption. Uh, so now that we have that set up, uh, we have a second personality here, as you know, as you can see. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit plus to uh, program another frequency. All right, so now we'll go to personality type. It's conventional. Uh, personality numbers number two because the second personality was the digital personality that we that we programmed uh, that we just created now as you notice when I did that everything here went gray um, obviously because there's no PL tones and squelch tones for uh, digital personalities those are all going to be uh, network ID tone uh, network ID uh, numbers and we'll get to those in a second um, so in this case, we'll just use a frequency of, uh, I don't know, let's do 154.15, all right? That's going to be our receive frequency, and we'll do the same thing. Like I said, VHF high is usually going to be on the same frequency uh, for the offset to access the repeater. We'll do the same thing, 154.15, all right? So we'll hit enter there. All right, now we'll go, we'll, we'll go over. Um, for your narrow banding and your uh, spacing options, 5 kilohertz is okay. Um, and we'll go to the network ID. So we have a transmit and we have a receive. Um, so this is going to be, you know, if, if you're familiar with scanners, this is going to be your NAC code. Um, you can you can find these. We'll, let's look for a frequency here. Uh, you know, f uh, anybody here that uses P25, I don't see any in this county. Uh, we'll go to, uh, uh, let's see, we'll go to Connecticut here. We'll take a look. All right, so for example, Bridgeport, Bridgeport, Connecticut, um, they use P25, and their NAC code is 501, uh, you know, for, for their uh, dispatch. Uh, they're 502, so they're for their uh, secondary, 503, so 504, so on and so forth. So these are their different uh, NAC codes. Um, that does the same thing as a network ID, so that's going to be the same, uh, this, it's going to be the same number. So if we were programming, uh, you know, this frequency here for Bridgeport Police, we put in uh, the, the uh, trans transmit and receive as 501. Uh, so in this case, uh, we'll just put it in hexadecimal so that there may, be, there may even be a, a letter in there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just do it as uh, 12A. Should accept it. Yep. All right. And we'll do as 12A for the receive. All right. Um, so now that's all set. So now if we were to go ahead and hit the uh, the right device, uh, it'll write the uh, analog one we have in frequency one and the uh, digital one we just programmed uh, for the astro in uh, frequency number two. And uh, you'll be able to, uh, to, uh, to transmit and receive on both an analog uh, conventional and a uh, Astro digital uh, conventional personality uh, and frequency, um, and the same thing goes with this for accessing the repeater. Um, if you were to transmit, um, you can listen. It's going to be it's going to be very quiet. It won't be all staticky like probably the uh, the uh, analog one because it's digital and digital. Um, it's it's uh, it's very clean. It's very uh, sharp audio, so you may not hear it, but you can you'll probably hear a quick uh, second of clear air, and that means you hit the repeater. Um, it's kind of a it's kind of a challenge to uh, to really identify your repeater uh, access frequencies um, unless you're you, you know the system that you're trying to work with. Um, an indicator would be if you look up an FCC license, um, you could see if there's two different frequencies. In one frequency, um, let's say one frequency has 50 mobile radios that it's licensed for, um, then it's going to be your transmit frequency, and the other frequency is going to be the receive frequency um, for the for the base radio. So that's a good way to take a look at it as well. But you're going to also have a hard time trying to find these uh, these PL tones and these PL codes. That's something where a scanner would come in place, uh, where you can just listen to the frequency, um, and you can you can uh, see what kind of uh, PL tones or DPL tones that they're that they're using, uh, so you know what you're going to be programming in here. Um, so obviously, make sure that you're authorized to to uh, transmit onto these uh, uh, personalities and these frequencies that you're going to be programming. Um, you don't want to be interfering with uh, public safety or uh, you know anybody's uh, lives. Um, out, you know who are using these frequencies, uh, you know for public safety purposes. 
Um, so just make sure that you're authorized to uh, to use those and to uh, transmit on them because we don't want to be causing any uh, harm out there. So anyway, we're happy you guys were able to watch this video. Hope you guys were able to learn something. Um, if you have any comments or any questions, feel free to comment uh, down below and uh, I'll be happy to answer your questions. I hope you guys have a great one. Thank you.